there's the two explanations, which are very common. The first, as you say, Michael, is the one about the economy. And so it's framed in terms of globalisation, long-term trends, the loss of manufacturing blue-collar work, the ways in which particular sectors of the country have lost out, and they now no longer have the economic prosperity of their parents' generation. And that's been very pervasive. Everybody's talking about that. If that is true, of course, there are some fairly straightforward or at least manageable solutions that we might get onto about manufacturing work, trade, apprenticeships, a range of ways of improving, particularly the non-urban areas. But the other explanation is different. And this is in some ways um, even gloomier than the economic explanation. The other explanation that we came to is that what's been happening is a cultural change. And it's a change which, again, is rooted right back to the 1960s when there was progressive values taking over <laughs> many affluent societies. And it changed the values that people held, especially amongst the young, young and the well-educated. And these were issues towards women, gender equality, towards LGBT rights, towards issues of cosmopolitanism, where young people felt very connected with the rest of the world. What we think has been happening, and I've been working with Ron Inglehart, who's published this for many, many years throughout his life, is a backlash against those progressive changes. And it's a backlash which is there amongst, in particular, the older generation who grew up with a different set of values in the 1950s and 60s, and who feel that what's around them is no longer America, that it's become more secular, it's become more international versus patriotic, it's become more tolerant of diversity when they want to have an America that harks back to a white picket fence of the 1950s, a nostalgic vision. Um, and if that's true, that might also account for why it's happening in many European countries as well, where again, these tremendous cultural shifts which have occurred throughout our lifetime mean there's generational gaps in how people feel about the political culture. And this has been going on for many years, including a, a cynicism about politics, but that's become eroded now and what populists can do is they can appeal to this dissatisfaction with, with the amount of change and say, we can take you back. What is it making America great again? It says America was great. We can get back to it. And the same message can be there in the Brexit, where those who wanted to leave said, we can turn back to Britain when there was an empire. Remember, there was a commonwealth. There was a way in which Britain was great and we can get out of Europe. And the same message, I think, can be seen in many other countries.